Hello and welcome, you badass server you. My name is Jennifer and I am Waitress. And today's video is going to be focusing on coffee and coffee service. So first, I want you to know that I'm going under the statistical number that 70 to 90% of people are right-handed. I know that pisses a lot of left-handed people off, and I'm sorry, but this video is going to be focusing on those 70 to 90 percent of your customers and when they order coffee okay so when they order coffee first things first this is only through trial and error and my mistakes that I have made and my mistakes go something like this so would you like coffee yes I would okay regular or decaffeinated I would like decaffeinated perfect would you like cream and sugar and then they say Ehh. I have no idea what they say I have no idea everything kind of goes black and and there's a noise humming in my mind and I my brain goes and then I say okay and then I go and I get their coffee and I come back no I go to the back and then um, I don't know what I'm doing I know I'm pouring decaf that much I can I can do but as for if they want cream and sugar I don't I don't know. So what do I do? I bring cream and sugar, which is fine if they said that they didn't want it, but if they said, no, I like it black, then who looks like an a-hole? Yours truly. I don't want you to look like that. So uh, a lot of times when you train at a nice restaurant, when you are employed at a nice restaurant, they'll say, hey, you know what? Don't even ask. Don't even ask if they want cream and sugar. Just bring it. And that's kind of nice because sometimes people may change their mind. Sometimes they do want a little bit of cream or a little sugar or whatever. But anyway, it's nice to have it in front of them. So possibly maybe from my own um, silliness, maybe you can learn from me and just bring cream and sugar. Okay. Uh, the other thing I said, decaf, decaffeinated. It's nice to say the whole word. It just uh, sounds a little bit better. But you don't have to do it. It's your world. Hey, your world. Uh, the thing that I really want to focus on today is the 70 to 90 percent of people being right-handed. So when you drop off their coffee to them, um, first of all, formal settings, which who's formal? I mean, there's really not a lot of restaurants that are formal. Uh, thank God, by the way. Um, but formal restaurants typically has the saucer and the coffee on the left-hand side above the soup spoon. I'm sorry, above the forks. But Really, I think for convenience, especially for that right-handed person, you're putting it on the right-hand side with the handle. So all they're doing is extending their arm and picking up the coffee because when your customer goes out to eat or when you go out to eat, when you go out to eat, all I want you to have to do is shovel stuff into your face. I want you to be able to swivel at the hips, at the waist, and just put stuff in your mouth. I don't want you to have to work at all. You are out to eat. If I wait on you, I just want you to be out to eat. I don't want you to have to reach for things and do things. So that's why it's kind of nice to have everything around you. So with that being said, you'll put the coffee at this kind of a length away from the customer with the handle on the right because you don't want them to have to swivel. You want to assume they're right-handed and just grab it with the right hand put it in their mouth. Um, if you don't like that idea because some people are left-handed, then just take a minute and just see if your customer is right or left-handed. All I have to do is pay a little bit of attention. And you can catch them doing something and it's going to become clear if they're right-handed or left-handed. And if they're left-handed, what do you do? You just swivel when you drop it off. You just make sure that the handle is on the left instead of making sure that the handle is on the right. That's it. If you have any tips or suggestions, comments, criticism, critiques, nice things to say, you can go to IamWaitress.com and leave a comment or contact me or whatever, be my buddy, sign up for my email list because it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, stay tuned and we'll keep learning and sharing together. Have a good night. Make a lot of money. Thank you.